He ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Garrett, and today I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial, and this is going to be on an album cover. And as I said before in my most previous tutorial, I'm going to try to be more professional with these, doing things that you would actually use inside of a, uh, a real scenario, and you're more of a college based tutorials. So basically we're going to be creating an album cover. So right now on Google, I pulled up just the regular album covers and uh, we can just go through these and just talk about them a little bit. So basically an album cover is, it's really focusing on one kind of thing to express either your album or just kind of create a visual effect for you to buy the album or something like that. And uh, for this case, you know, obviously for the Michael Jackson one, it's him, you know, people like to use themselves inside of it and very, they can either be very simplistic or they can be very detailed. Like he would be a very simplistic one just using a, like an atom bomb cloud just moved to the side rather than being, um, let's just say this one where it's all illustrated and they have like things going on that we probably don't know all about, probably subliminal messaging inside of it and stuff like that. So as I said before, we're going to be trying to go through this as simple as possible, breaking it in, and we're going to be using kind of more of a a very vintage kind of feel to it just because it's going to be more of an easy tutorial to explain to you guys. So as I said before, you're going to need some Photoshop, and that's basically it. So uh, all you want to do is basically open up your own document to the size like 1000 by 1000, and you can either work with a very black background, a white background, or any color really you can imagine. For this case, I'm going to be using kind of a uh, a light tan, and uh, just always just keep finding different colors to use. You do not have to use the first one you click, obviously. You literally can just go back in here and just keep grabbing different kind of examples until you find the one that fits you. So I'm going to go back to the original one that I was on. So. Basically, when you're doing a album cover, you're gonna need a centerpiece, like a uh, something to focus your eye on. So in this case, we're just gonna grab the ellipse tool and we're just gonna make a black circle just right in the middle. And you can either make it very large, very small, it doesn't really matter, we're gonna be filling it inside with a picture. And if you guys have Photoshop CC, there will be lines going through here to help you center this. If not, what you can do a very very known way when you don't have that if you double click the background layer hit Control t you can grab these rulers to the side and then you can center your circle based on those rulers so basically what we're going to be doing is putting something inside of the circle so as i said before we're doing a very vintage feel so let's just hop over to google and let's just type in um let's do a frank sinatra something with Frank Sinatra in it so you guys can go around through these you guys can find stuff through the uh, the 40s I'm pretty sure it's when he was in his prime and you can basically find any kind of picture you'd like um necessarily it does not matter what kind of picture you're using but I'd like to use something where it's it's kind of like laid back almost it's not so uptight into his face more so laid back throughout his chest and his torso so I'm gonna scroll back up and uh, something like that would be fine. Something like this. Let's just say we're gonna use this one. So now that we have this, make sure the size right here is above 1000 by 1000. It can be any size above that. It can be any size crazily above it. All I wanna do is paste it in, put it above that ellipse, and of course hold Alt and click on the layer to kind of create that clipping mask that we've been over. And just shrink it, hitting Control T and Alt and let's just say we're gonna keep it like this maybe a little bit bigger and for this we're gonna actually not keep it the same way we're going to flip it so we're gonna flip this horizontally and another cool thing you guys can do and make it create a little cool effect is you guys can duplicate that layer and lower the opacity a little bit and let's just say we're going to move both of these just up just a little bit so it touches the bottom right here. You're going to see that this hat right here comes out a little bit. So to create kind of a more creative effect, let's say you guys are redoing the uh, Frank Sinatra album. So you have one of your friends that does um, remixes of the songs. Basically, you guys can just literally pen tool out that hat. And of course, if you guys haven't already watched my whole video on a pen tool 
I'd highly recommend watching that. It's very detailed and it's very good. And you guys will actually learn a ton. So all you have to do is duplicate that layer after making a selection and you guys can hide that back layer. And what it does, it just kind of creates a cool little overlap feel that your guy is kind of standing outside of the outside of the circle behind him. So now that you guys have that, what else you guys can do is you guys can start creating kind of effects. And if you guys want to keep this all black and white, you can totally do that. For this case, I'm not. And what I'm going to do is make a new layer and put it below your clipping mask and then putting it above it. And we're going to go right over here to your gradient tool and make sure it's a transparent to black fade. It will be right here in the middle. Just make sure your first color is black. And just kind of, kind of darken it from the bottom right hand corner up and put it on, let's just say, overlay. So, actually maybe not. Maybe some like linear burn and just kind of the uh, erase just like that so now that you guys have that you guys can start creating something inside of it like maybe a, a color scheme or maybe something like that so for this let's just say we're going to be using the color actually let's use the color blue and uh, it can be any color blue we can always change it and uh, same deal make a new layer and you can put it up below that gradient actually and just make a very large rectangle Hit Control T, hold Shift, and make it maybe a little bit sideways. And then after that, you know, I'll have to go into a regular shape, of course. Photoshop will load, and you guys can mess with the type of the type of um, kind of overlapping you're doing. So normal wouldn't be too much of a good idea. If I was you guys, I'd keep it on like linear burn or something. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit. And you guys can change the color, maybe a little darker, maybe a little lighter, a little bit more saturated. You can change it to red, maybe a green. Um, basically, it doesn't matter. Um, the more I realize that Frank Sinatra does have a kind of blue color scheme for a lot of his albums. So, of course, I would just keep it the same blue. And uh, you guys can just leave it here. So, now that you guys have that done, you guys can start creating something else. So, we're going to start kind of making different shapes going around in here so you can just make a new layer above everything and then grabbing either the inverted color of blue which is orange or grab like a kind of a tangy yellow and orange put together and you guys can just make like a little circles around here and basically what this is doing right now is you're just creating an effect that would help the eye get drawn somewhere into the middle to help create kind of more of an abstract feel through it and of course, um, you don't really want to do too much. So let's just say we're going to keep it more kind of basic and stuff. So we're going to just make a new layer. We're actually going to hit Control H, which is going to bring up those rulers that we used before. Same thing with Control R. And we're actually going to bring rulers to the side of this circle. And now that we have that, we're going to have this kind of little base that we can work from. Of course, you want to grab that line tool, make the colors black. If you click right here, on these black and white things they will go black and white and we want to just drag to like there hit control J same thing just drag so it's on the other side so you kind of have this gap right here ah I'm gonna have to hit control Z a couple times when I said that make sure it's on a different layer of course oops just because you might get a little confused and it might get a little messy so just make one control J and then you guys can just hold shift and drag it along the other side and you guys will have this opening and after you're done with this you can just bring these things down of course now you can take out your text tool and you can type in anything you really want you can be like 2016 let's just say you're doing a remix but of course try to keep the font a little modern do not make it all so old and fancy because then you're going to lose that kind of quick style that you wanted so you guys can have like your text right here 2016 and uh let's just say you want to put some text up in the top left hand corner um for this it doesn't really matter how you do it but let's just say you want to put frank and then we'll do sinatra afterwards make sure the spacing is at an all-time zero and then for font choice I would, if I was you guys, keep it somewhere bold. I wouldn't go too much into the into the um, skinny and maybe a little bit shrunken in. Of course, if you guys haven't already watched the text document tool and how to work it like that, 
it's a very interesting tutorial i would definitely check it out but uh i'm gonna put this right here i'm gonna duplicate it and we'll put like frank sinatra right here just to kind of create a little effect and you guys can literally do anything you want um let's just say you want to just kind of keep this right here or maybe you want to put it somewhere else we can just drag both these texts somewhere maybe put it above everything above that hat as well let's just say you want to keep it effect like this and then a very cool effect everyone else can do like a flat design effect is if you make a new layer under everything under those texts especially if you click right here and hold shift you guys will get a diagonal oops diagonal line it'll either go horizontal vertical or diagonal if you guys are dragging to the corner it'll be diagonal and just kind of color this in and we're going to do this really sloppy right here in the bottom because we're going to have to go back over it but it will be worth it all right fill this in with literally just a black color it doesn't have to be anything too insane it could be your foreground color which mine in the case is black and everything will look kind of sloppy the text will be colored in but don't worry we will be fixing it so i'm just pretty much clicking these corners of the letters and just dragging the the color into the corner and since that i'm going to be overlapping this into the circle i do not need to worry about the whole a and k so now that i have that i'm literally just going to drag this into the circle and then take the opacity and lower it and if i zoom out you guys can have a little like flat design text going and you guys can just erase the bottom of course you guys can mess with the overlay color as well maybe click right here and like the letters and then it has a nice effect and when you're doing this, you do not have to keep the text black, of course. You guys can change the color as much as you want. In this case, maybe a little, um, like a charcoal gray would look a lot better. So, of course, when you're making colors like this, just always copy that color code. And then, just to pretty much change the color faster, you always, all you have to do is hit Control v And, uh, basically, now you have this, you can really start doing all that you want and then anything possible. There's really an endless amount of things you can do. Um, you guys can change the color of everything. Let's just say you want to take the background color. And we're just going to great move it over to the side. Grab a color overlay. Let's just say you want to make it more of like a stingy blue. You guys can do that. Of course, you can make it more of a pink or a yellow or orange. You can make it more of a darker grunger one. And the possibilities are literally endless. So... Like I said, guys, just basically take your time on how to do something like this. It's a very simplistic album cover, but of course you want to keep it the same. You never want to go too intense into it. And of course, we have the user, my man, Frank Sinatra, to do a style like this because it, it only seems right. So this is going to be it for the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you guys do like these kind of more professional tutorials, let me know in the comments below. And I'm sorry for without doing these everyday uploads. It's actually very difficult to do as hard as it, as easy as it sounds doing tutorials every day. You run out of ideas. You don't want to copy yourself. So I'm going to do professional ones every other day, of course, with my designer tips and my top five. So as I said before, guys, if you enjoyed this, leave a like. And if you guys like more professional stuff like this, also leave a like. And this is just a very simplistic album cover tutorial. And this is going to be it for the video. And I hope to see you guys later on. Peace out. Please don't knock over my heart